database administration is a very interesting subject it's all about maintenance of a database so first of all uh, let's uh, understand what are the prerequisites to learn uh, database administration see whenever we are talking about database administration of any uh, database whether it is oracle database or any other database the important thing that is that uh, we should know sql structured query language sql is basically uh, the basic building block of uh, communication with a database so whether you are working on oracle database or microsoft sql server or mysql whatever it could be it is important that you should know sql so i hope uh, all of you know basic sql uh, from is, uh, do you all know basic sql now coming to oracle rdbms coming to oracle relational database management system the oracle rdbms uh, basically is one of the oldest uh, relational database management system available in the market it was first released in uh, 1978 uh, it was first released in 19 78 and uh, since 1978 till date this company oracle corporation which is the uh, developer of the oracle database has secured almost around uh, 42% world market share so around 42% of the uh, market share is held by oracle so oracle uh, has been a market leader since a long time and uh, several companies use oracle relational database management system to store the data of their companies therefore due to its big market oracle is also having a lot of requirements for database administrators so like any other database there is a requirement that there should be a database administrator for oracle as well so what is the role of a database administrator what could possibly be the work that a dba will do uh, when he is working as a oracle database administrator in a company let's have a brief look see i can just list out some of the important work that is done by a dba one the dba is solely responsible for installation of oracle software if uh, you are a database administrator in a company and uh, you are the one who is going to be responsible for the installation of the oracle software on the operating system that is to be used in the company like for example some company may use windows server operating system and some other company they may use linux operating system and some other may use uh, solaris operating system so, so whatever it may be uh, you are responsible for the installation of the oracle software that is one of the primary responsibilities of oracle database administrator second uh, is the creation of oracle databases as per company requirement you may have to create one or more databases after the software is installed and those databases will be then used by the company for running their business or application whatever it may be next space management managing the space 
See, if you are a database administrator, you need to monitor, you need to manage the space that is being utilized by the database. As a database administrator, you are responsible for adding space to database when needed. You are responsible for uh, removing unnecessary space which has not been used and monitoring the growth of the database. This is very important, space management. User management. Uh, any database including Oracle has the concept of user and these users access the database and uh, they will be accessing the data from the database by writing SQL queries. So managing the users, creating the users, setting their passwords, all this is very important. So user management is another very important feature of database administration. Then you also have, you have something called a general database administration tasks. Like for example, uh, network setting up a network so that people can access the database. So Oracle side networking tasks, that is generally what I'm talking about. And uh, also things like uh, maintaining the database specific files. So the database itself will be having several files. So maintaining those various state different types of files. So we have several general database administration tasks specific to Oracle database. Then one of the very important tasks of the DBA is backup and recovery. Taking regular backups of your Oracle database and uh, preparing for any kind of a disaster. For example, someday you may be losing some disk on your server. If the disk was failed, then you may lose some data. So how are you going to combat that situation? How are you going to get the data back which you lost? Because maybe that is production data and that is required by the users. So backup and recovery is a very critical part of the database administrator's job. A DBA should prepare by taking regular backups of the database that is being used by the company and he should prepare recovery strategies. So in case should he recover, he should be ready with a strategy and he should be ready with some steps to perform the recovery. Next. For the security, set up a disaster recovery. CR site is nothing but something called a data guard. Uh, it's very much in demand nowadays. People uh, don't only depend on backup recovery for the safety of the data. They want 100% uh, uh, data availability with zero downtime and zero data loss. So setting up a DR site has become mandatory as of today in the market. So that is again very important. It is a part of uh, database administration. And then we have a very important task is performance tuning. So performance tuning ensures that your database performance is always good and that your database is running uh, at an optimal speed at any given point. I have just very concisely and in a very small nutshell I am putting ahead or forward to you a set of uh, tasks that are done by database administrators. Now based on seniority level the tasks that are assigned would vary. Like for example a, uh, a just involve in the first three that is installation and creating databases and space management. Maximum we will look at user management. Then a level two database administrator has a two year station tasks and he will also execute backup and recovery. But uh, things like performance tuning, setting up DR site, etc., are done by very senior database administrators. So level three and above, like with more than five to six years experience, they will take care of uh, like probably setting up a DR site and performance tuning, etc., such type of things. 
So entry level DBA, we will do things like installation of oracles, creating oracle database and space management and monitoring that's all. Senior to we go for uh, ahead of that. Like for example, he may do all basic tasks plus he will do backup with uh, DR. We, we cannot say if the sometimes uh, even the two years experience people are asked to set up DR site, etc. City management, performance tuning, such type of things we have senior senior people they will take care of such issues. But then different companies have different type of environment. Uh, some companies have a very structured setup and some companies there will be only one DBA and that single DBA will be taking care of all the issues that are occurring over there. So to my knowledge it is always good to have some knowledge is mostly required to run a production database for backup recovery in depth or sometimes he may face some problem like he may be wondering how do I set up PR site because type of things to happen generally. Also one more thing I will tell you about Oracle DBA is it is a continuous learning process. Uh, we a person learns Oracle DBA with a trainer and from then onwards uh, the people they will uh, go in their jobs and then again they will learn so many things while they are there because Oracle is changing the versions from time to time. Past uh, let, let me say, let us say something around 10 years. In the past 10 years, we have seen Oracle 9i, then 10G, then 11G, and then 12C. So, versions are released, and the uh, DBAs should continuously upgrade by themselves latest versions and learn the new features of the database. So, uh, it is a it's a process where uh, the database administrator of uh, him. Uh, he has to maintain the databases and he has to include new features and then the implementation part also comes into picture. So uh, database administration has a lot of scope. Uh, every company needs a DBA. Database may not always be Oracle, but when you are learning Oracle DBA, you should work on Oracle database. We cannot learn Oracle DBA MySQL database. So, as a database administrator on Oracle, you can work on Oracle database. Yes, it becomes easier to learn any other database administration course. Then you can work on that as well. Why select Oracle? As I already said, Oracle is having a very big database compared with many other databases. And there is always a likelihood that maybe someone is using SQL Server today. They may ship many cases. Companies start off with uh, and over a span of five or six years. Once the data is very large, there are several such instances where Oracle database was the preferred database. After the database has grown to a large extent, but many companies they will go with Oracle at very. Let's just look at advantages of the Oracle database. You prefer Oracle, okay? The Oracle database is uh, availability on multiple operating systems. This is one of the main advantages of Oracle. It is available on uh, three major operating systems Unix. So Oracle has made its database software available on the three operating systems which is very good allow many people to use Oracle regardless of what operating systems are having Windows somebody may be having Unix server so they can also install Oracle and some other client they may be having Linux server so they too can install Oracle. So this is a good uh, strategy, marketing strategy that your database is available on multiple operating systems. Built in. Okay, so Oracle is having its own built in and the other is PLSQL, Procedural Language Structured Query Language. With the help of SQL and PLSQL, we can do a lot of coding at the database level. You can uh, build uh, procedures, functions, packages, triggers with help of PLSQL 
and you can uh, by using SQL.